Mars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a Canadian holiday in Quebec. Which star is it? Jonathan Winters, Elka Summer, George Goebel, Earl Holloman, Mike Connors, Charo, <laughs> Demond Wilson, Petula Clark, or Paul Lynn, all in the Hollywood Square. And here is the master of the Hollywood Square. Thank you, Kenny, and a good, good evening. Welcome once again to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. I thought you were going to say a Canadian vacation in Ireland. I don't know why. Anyway, this is the nighttime version of the Hollywood Squares, and as you know, we have two new contestants, and one will drive away with a brand new car. First of all, our Miss Circle for the evening is a young lady who's a math consultant from the Wiseburn School District, Shirley Sparling. Hi, Shirley. You have hobbies? You like calligraphy? Is that the right pronunciation? That's correct. And gambling. What kind of gambling? Oh, like you're Las kind. Vegas? Oh, yes. Oh, that's a fun And always time. lose. Yeah, oh, well, <laughs> no, don't say that. Don't say Anyway, good luck this evening. Thank you. All right. And our Mr. X is Dan Martinez. Dan, welcome to our show. Oh. Nice to see you. An advertising artist, married father of two, and his hobby is fishing. And we have a commercial, and then we'll uh, continue with the Hollywood Squares. As it gets three stars in a row, either a cross up or down or diagonally, it is up to them to figure out if the stars give me a correct answer, making one up. That's how they get the squares. Each completed game is worth $250. In addition, in the first three games, we have three wonderful secret square games. Ken? And Circle starts the first secret square for a trip to Canada. We'll jet you from Los Angeles via Air Canada, which flies more people more often to more places in Canada from the United States than any other airline. So fly the airline that knows Canada best, Air Canada. We'll fly to Quebec City, perched on a rock above the St. Lawrence River. This fun-loving capital is said to be the most beautiful city on the continent. French in flavor, French in custom, French in savoir-faire, furnished by Quebec City. Plus, Ventura's collection, luggage in the soft manner with digital locks and scrubbable Dora vinyl coverings, furnished by Ventura. And now, here is, ah, lovely Elka Summer. For the young and young at heart is this denim dyed rabbit jacket with matching purse and hat furnished by Dicker and Dicker of Beverly Hills. Thank you, pretty Elka. Also, an elegant 14 karat gold ring set with topaz and sparkling diamond designed and furnished by Jules by Edouard of Beverly Hills. And beautiful eyes are yours with Maybelline. Everything you need in the beautiful eye makeup wardrobe from Maybelline. Plus, Yashica's exciting LD6 movie camera allows you to create many special effects including fade, lap dissolve, and ultra slow motion at the touch of a button. Furnished by Yashica. That's it, Peter. Okay, let's show the home audience to see this grass and where the stars are brief before the show to help with the bluff that they are hearing the actual questions for the first time. And I understand that Shirley won the toss, so pick a star. Good luck to you. Mike Connors, please. All right. Oh. Uh, Krikor Ohanian? That's it. And that's the name of your new Did I answer series? that true or false? Uh, I don't know. We, oh, know we had that question yes. on the show. Yeah. And nobody believed. They thought it was a, some kind of an animal. Anyway. Um, <laughs> They're right. I, They're I right. Think They're true right. or false? President Ford knows how to play Petula Clark's hit downtown on the trombone. <laughs> if he doesn't, he should play. Uh... Yeah, he's played a lot of instruments, but I don't think he's played he's played a, a trombone. He said that's false. I disagree. That is false. One of our oh. trickies. Okay. Put a uh, put an X there for Dan Martinez. Earl Holloman. Earl, uh, is uh, rather there is a classic American drama about a man who likes nothing better than to bowl, drink beer, play poker, and humiliate his sister in law. What's the title? Cat on a hot tin roof. Cat on a hot tin roof. I agree. A streetcar named Desire by Tennessee Williams. Uh, even in, in the neighborhood with a circle, Shirley. Paul. Please. Paul. Superstitious people believe that stepping on something will bring bad luck. Stepping on what? Frank Sinatra's foot. <laughs> um, uh, Oh, that, uh, 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 the crack on the sidewalk. Step on a crack. I agree. That's right. With a circle, then. Petula Clark. Hey, there's the secret square. <laughs> okay, Dan Martinez, it's worth $2,100. A trip to Canada, luggage, fur, ring, movie camera, special envelope, pet. What was Gary Cooper's last motion picture? Was it The Hanging Tree, The Wreck of the Mary Queen, or The Naked Edge? Uh, could I have the titles again? Sure. Gary Cooper's last motion picture, The Hanging Tree, 
The Wreck of the Mary Queen or The Naked Edge? I think it was The Wreck of the... Uh... Mary Queen? Yes. I agree. No. <sighs> It was the naked edge. Oh. Can't put a circle there, Shirley. You'll have to earn that yourself. Petula Clark. All righty, for $250, Petula. Uh, you see, with multiple choice, Pet, don't feel badly. Dan could have disagreed just as easily. It's his, I'm sorry. It's really his choice, <laughs> okay. though, honey. It really is the contestant's choice. Yes, I suppose so. You have, a, you have just sung a song, and beautifully, I might add. Now, I has have? it been good physical exercise, singing? Singing? Oh, it's the most fantastic trip in the world. Sure. I agree. Experts say that singing uses the same muscles as swimming and walking, not just the lungs and chest. That's good to hear. Mabaloo! Put a second there. Okay, we're going for another Secret Square game, and Kenny will tell us about that. And this time, X starts the Secret Square for a complete kitchen featuring Gibson's Foodmaster refrigerator freezer with full width shelves and exclusive frost clear system, plus a continuous cleaning range with smooth ceramic cooking surface and an automatic preheat oven for faster cleaning, furnished by Gibson, plus wash and forge town and country tableware, beautiful feet with handles, knives, hollow ground purses with serrated edges, quality stainless furnished by Washed and Forge, and an 18-pound capacity Washmaster automatic wash with five wash and five rinse temperatures, plus Gibson's Agisoak section action gets more work done in less time, and a matching dry master dryer with a vacuum dry sits and the dryers close faster, yet is more gentle to fabrics, furnished by Gibson. Also, golden grain macaroni and cheddar dinners made with a rich elbow macaroni and creamier cheddar cheese, golden grain macaroni and cheddar, plus a blender from the famous Beagle catalog with more than 500 pages, new twice a year with over 50,000 quality items, providing value selection economy, furnished by Spiegel, and... Rosemark Silver's three-quart oval domed warmer, champagne bucket with stand, gold line bun warmer, three-piece coffee set candlestick furnished by Rosemark. Your turn, Peter. Yes, sir, Bob. Let's show the whole money to Secret Square, Dan. Good luck, my friend. George Goebel. Uh -huh. Mr. Goebel, true or false, drinking five martinis a day can destroy your brain. I would have to say the answer is the man of La Mancha. <laughs> the multiple choice, George. Oh, I'm sorry. Can five martinis destroy the brain? Uh, five martinis a day? Mm. Well, and how, how long? I mean, if, you know, if you do that for 112 years, it's going to be destroyed anyway, but no, I don't think it can destroy the brain. He says, no, it can't. I disagree. In fact, there's going to be a new motion picture. Five martinis that destroyed the brain. No, it's true. No. Yes, what an X there. All right. I only can go by this, George. Shirley? But you look hard, please. But Happy Rockefeller says that Nelson is impossible, impossible about one television series. In fact, he won't let anyone in the family utter a sound until this television series is over. What show is it? <coughs> Vice President. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder. That's fascinating. Happy, says Nelson. He, yes, he, he will not let anybody Nelson. utter a sound until this program is... It's his favorite. Yes, okay. Okay. Television series. I would imagine... Uh, all in the family. All in the family. Disagree. His favorite is Mannix. Oh, <laughs> I always... Put a circle there. Dan, we're going to pause for this commercial. We'll One be right of the back. finest vice... Jonathan Winters. Jonathan, do experts think it is a good idea to tie an old sweat sock on the end of your garden hose? <laughs> do experts think this? Mm. <laughs> we had some guys, you know, that I was with at one time did these kind of things. Did they? Yeah. They used to tie garden hose up. They pretended they were things and snakes and stuff. And then they were put away. Um, <laughs> that's frightening, you know, experts. Uh, tie. What, what was the question again? Uh, sweat <laughs> socks. Uh, sweat, sweat socks. On the end of your garden hose. Is that a good idea? On the end of your garden hose. Yeah. Well, I guess if you don't want to water the plant right away, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah that's a good idea. I disagree. Oh, absolutely. I'll tell you why. It helps keep the force of the water down, thus preventing damage to your garden. Uh, a very good idea with the circle. All right, Shirley, your turn. Uh, demand Wilson, please. Not the secret square, but $500. What will crossing a loganberry and a raspberry and a blackberry get you, Demond? Drunk. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll get you wine. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, it, it, it's some kind of a berry. You, you've got a Loganberry and a raspberry and a blackberry, and you, you crossbreed them, and what do you get? Blackberry. A blackberry. Disagree. A boysenberry. A Mr. Boysen figured that out, by the way, and we have $500 for Shirley Sparta. Bravo! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The Secret Square game right now. And Circle Stars, the third Secret Square for a Western Auto gift certificate for the Destiny Group bedroom set featuring the bookcase, headboard, hutch, mirror, and triple dresser. Redeemable at one of their 4,800 stores furnished by Western Auto. Plus, Lucid Lines presents the Thrasher series. Art on glass coordinates with recessed scenic background to complement modern and traditional settings. A unique grouping including frame, pictures, clock, and cabinet furnished by Lucid Lines. And the dependable Maytag Permanent Press automatic washer and dryer, each with cycles to correctly wash and dry any of today's washable fabrics, even double knits, furnished by the Maytag Company. Also, Artex Roll-On Decorator Paints, a complete home and fashion decorator paint, and two Artex Hobby Products, plus a $1,000 television package. General Electric Performance Television upstairs, a 17-inch diagonal portacolor TV with Spectraline picture tube. Downstairs, a 25-inch contemporary console, both with 100% solid-state chassis, one-touch color system, furnished by General Electric. That's Let's it. show the home audience to Secret Square, and Shirley's going to start this game. George Fogel, please. George, uh, true or false question? A woman once forced John Quincy Adams into giving her an exclusive interview by sitting on his clothes while he skinny-dipped in the Potomac River. And that tradition is being carried on today by Barbara Walters. Uh, John Quincy, while he skinny-dipped... Mm -hmm. Is that true or false? A woman once forced uh, an interview by doing that. I think that's false. So that's false. I agree. The reporter was Anne Royale. It's a true story. Hey. That is an interesting story. You like that? Okay, with the next. Dan, a break for you. DeMont Wilson. And that's the secret story. Yeah. Here we go. Now, this is for $3,100. Big D, listen carefully. Multiple choice. What classic opera's leading lady is a gypsy cigar maker? Gypsy cigar maker. Is it Aida? Carmen or the magic flute? I think it's Carmen. Carmen. I agree. That is Carmen! We've <laughs> got the bedroom set, the washer dryer, and the colored television sets. And uh, there, there are two of those, by the way. Oh, fantastic. Two TV sets. It's 3117 bucks, And you've got the X. And now, Shirley, your turn. Paul in, please. Uh, Paul, true or false, vitamins can make you smell bad. That's why I prefer not to exercise with Jack LaLanne. <laughs> uh, some vitamins can. Agreed. Uh, B1 is a killer. Yes. Okay. All right. You got the circle. Dan, your turn. Earl Holliman. Earl, according to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, what do belly dancers call their costumes? They call them uh, the... Uh, they call them belly dancer costumes. I disagree. They call them belly dancing costumes. <laughs> what a circle there. We've got a commercial. We'll be right back. The Tula Cart, For $750, according to Good Housekeeping Magazine, should you say anything, anything at all, to a five-year-old child who uses dirty words a lot? A lot. A five-year-old? Uses, uses dirty, dirty words, words a lot. Should you say anything, yes or no? Mm. Oh, they smell so lovely. Uh, uh, well, I would, you see. Dirty words. She said but she I said, wait a minute, we're in America. Oh. Probably no. She said no. I agree with no. Yes. The <laughs> article suggests several things to say in such situations. Such things like, <laughs> Hey, that's a new one, Dan. <laughs> they say, yes, you should say things to well, them. Put it next there. You're back in right. it, Dan. They're right. Jonathan Winters. All right, for $250, true or false. There is a toll bridge in Miami that charges 10 cents for cars and 30 cents for camels. <laughs> oh, but that's not close to the fun of blue. Um, camels? And 30 cents, true or false? Uh, let's see, Key Biscayne. I'm thinking of the various, uh, there's um, MacArthur, uh, causeways. Uh, that, to me, is, uh, there's a zoo, of course. Uh, there's a, a marine land. I'd say false. It's false. 
I agree. Oh, it's true. That's what the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus had to pay recently. Wait fact. a minute, wait a minute. The uh, circle. Wait a minute, uh, Ringling Brothers in Sarasota. Oh, well, no, but they went down to Miami to play a gig. Uh, we put a circle there. Uh, all right, sure. Mike Connors, please. Mike, for $750, which one of these men fought during the Civil War? Fought during the Civil War. Ralph Waldo Emerson, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Abraham Lincoln, or Jesse James? Fought in the Civil War. Jesse James. Jesse James. Yeah, he had guns all over the place. Shirley? Disagree. Jesse James. Put an X there. Okay, Dan, your turn. Charo. All right, Charo. Pasa. True or false? Yes. Most people who get dentures, do you know what a denture is? I, it's like it's some kind of sickness. No. <laughs> dentures. They are false teeth. Oh, yes. People who uh, wear dentures kiss differently than they did before they had dentures. Yes, and that is all about they can do. <laughs> no. <laughs> People who get no, dentures. No, I got it. Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they keep the same way, but keep it tight. <laughs> so, so they, keep, they, they kiss the same way. I agree. Yes, it's still a combination of lips and desire. All right. Glenn <laughs> Ward and Dan Pickastar. Uh, Earl Holloman. Earl, a popular movie of the 40s, Anna and the King of Siam, was remade into another popular movie later named what? Uh, <clears throat> uh, the King and I. The King and I. I agree. Right with the next. Shirley, your turn. Jonathan Winters, please. Jonathan, true or false? Scientists have discovered that bald chickens are cheaper to raise than feathered ones. <laughs> well, these scientists, of course, have complete full heads of hair. Oh, uh, bald-headed chickens, what was they? Are cheaper to raise than feathered Are cheaper ones. to true raise? Yeah. True or false? Cheaper to raise. Some of these questions are most unusual. <laughs> no wonder we're in trouble in the 50 states. Um, I would say false. I disagree. No, it's true. Nearly one quarter of chicken feed goes into the feathers, they report. What a circle. Dan, your turn. Elka Summers. Elky. Oh, that's nice. You're a gentleman, Dan. You really are a gentleman. Liz Taylor and Richard Burton recently made headlines when they did something in a remote African village, Elky, that they had done before. What did they do in a remote African village? Find the best diamond cutter, probably. <laughs> now, um, they, uh, as a matter of fact, we were invited on that trip to Johannesburg. It was a kind of a tennis tournament, and I couldn't go because I was working in Rome. They got married. Got married. I agree. That's what they see being a gentleman and Elk Edmund called on. You see, what's next? Okay, Jerry. Paul Ryan, Paul? Within two, within two, how many husbands have the three Gabor sisters had among them? You mean including their own? <laughs> <laughs> How many husbands, husbands have the, the Gobor sisters have had? Yes, combined, uh, total. <laughs> within two. Oh, within two. Yeah. I was hoping you're going to say within a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Two. Let's see. Two, four. All the, all the sisters. All the sisters just combined. Shashem, no. No. I will say uh, a 10. 10. Agree. 17. Oh. Put an X there. Okay, pick a start and fast. Petula Clark. All righty. This could be for a tie game in $500. Oh. Petula Clark, according to Weight Watchers magazine, should big busted women avoid turtlenecks? Well, how would I know? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Weight Watchers magazine? Yeah. Should big busted women avoid turtlenecks? You know, turtleneck sweaters or... I don't know what you mean. Oh, I'll tell you what, oh, this is very uh, important. Yes? Oh, uh, uh, should I, they? Uh, let me... No, don't, don't rush, dear. Oh. Let me explain. That's our buzzer, which means his time is up. If you are correct in what, how this ever works out, and you get the X, we have a tie game, we go to a tie-breaking question. Big busted women, should they avoid wearing turtlenecks? Yes. I agree. Absolutely. We have a tie game. <laughs> All righty. Let us clear the board. <laughs> Shirley, I'm going to... I have a tie-breaking question here. There are nine stars up there. Choose a star. If you are correct, circle gets the square. Incorrect, Dan uh, drives home. Earl Holloman. Please. Earl, it's up to you, my friend. What's the capital of Missouri? St. Louis, Kansas City, or Jefferson City? Jefferson City. Agree. That's right. Circle gets the it's square. It's my home state. Is that your home state? It's my home state. Woo! <laughs> now, that is interesting. Incidentally...
We don't know. These questions just come up. We did not know that Shirley was from that state, and it just <laughs> happened that this was our tie-breaking question that has been incidentally for six weeks. So that's the way it worked out. Uh, well, listen, you won a secret square here this evening, Dan, and that was uh, worth over $3,100. You've got $500 in cash, and it was an exciting match. Thank we have parting gifts. Thank, Thank you. you. Shirley, you've won $550, and you're going to drive home. Congratulations, Thank Jefferson you. City, baby. It's the Dodson B210. That's just like power front disc brakes, tinted glass, full reclining bucket seats, nylon carpeting, old vinyl upholstery, white sidewall tires, and full wheel covers. The economical B210, furnished by Dodson. Time is up for this evening. Peter Marshall on behalf of the Star Singh. Have a good one. See you here next time. Thank you. These are your friends. The jury has found you guilty on all charges. But you have an honest face. Case dismissed. Excuse me. I think you dropped this hundred dollar bill. These are your foes. I'll keep a real close eye on your boyfriend while you're gone. I wish I could come down on the price, but we're going to have to order that part from, a uh, Tunisia. Friend or foe? It pays to know. Friend or foe, tonight at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, only on Game Show Network. This has been a Merrill Heater, Bob Quigley production.